Well, Lyme disease is skyrocketing in the Philadelphia region, and now there's an experimental new vaccine that's generating a lot of interest. Health reporter Stephanie Stahl here with more on this new vaccine. Mm. Really could help so many folks. It really could, Natasha. That's true. You know, Pennsylvania and New Jersey are Lyme disease hotspots with some of the highest numbers in the country. Nationwide, the CDC estimates about 476,000 people get Lyme disease every year. Robert Terwillinger was eager to volunteer to test a new Lyme disease vaccine. I'm hoping it works this way. I, I won't have no worries, you know. I go out in the woods and enjoy myself, and, and if I find a tick on me, I'm okay, I'm good. I don't have to worry about anything. Pfizer and a French biotech company developed the experimental vaccine known as VLA-15, which targets the bacteria from a tick bite that causes Lyme. It's a vaccine that's designed to prevent Lyme disease caused by the six most common types of, um, of Lyme bacteria um, in both the U.S. and Europe. Lyme cases have exploded recently, some blaming global warming that helps ticks thrive. Most cases are on the East Coast from Virginia to Maine. Some of the highest numbers are here in the Delaware Valley. Pennsylvania has 6,763 Lyme cases, New Jersey 2,400, Delaware just over 600. It's always a worry. Symptoms of Lyme can be flu-like. The first sign is often a red, round, bullseye rash. It's usually successfully treated with antibiotics, but can cause lingering problems. For the potential new vaccine, researchers are hoping to enroll 6,000 people, mainly from wooded areas where Lyme is common. Ever since we learned of this trial several months ago, we've had people on a waiting list waiting to be notified. So absolutely, we have people who are interested. In earlier studies, a good immune response was reported. The next phase will test if the vaccine is effective and safe. And if the trial goes well, the vaccine could be available in 2025. Until then, best to use insect repellent to avoid tick bites. Now, researchers are recruiting people in Pennsylvania and New Jersey. We have all the information you need for that at cbsphiladelphia.com. There is a lot of interest in yeah, this. Keep us posted on that next phase. All right, Stephanie, thank you. Well,